Alright, uh, so I got a request for a video basically about how to import uh, textures basically into Arnold. So this apparently is a paper towel roll from Sketchfab. Um, I do like this, it's a cute paper towel. Um, so either way, I'm just going to kind of throw that in. Um, so I was provided basically with a folder with a model and some texture files. Um, so that's what I got. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and like throw in some basic Arnold lighting so we can see what's happening here. Um, and my go-to is usually a physical sky because it gives you decent lighting off the bat. Um, so we'll see you know, what this looks like to start with. Alright, cool. So I have a paper towel. Um, so what I'm going to do is just go through and basically assign this a new standard surface shader uh, like you would normally. Standard surface. Um, and then I have all of these random files here, so I'm just going to go ahead and sort of plug them in. Um, now, two disclaimers up front. Um, so, usually different places will label things differently uh, in terms of, you know, how they denote what the base color is, etc, etc. Um, also, some textures don't port the same uh, to renders like Arnold and Redshift as they would to like a game engine. Um, so I know that's one of the issues with Substance Painter. You have to jump through a lot of hoops to sort of like get your textures looking the same or similar as they were when you designed them. Um, so just bear that in mind. If you're using textures that were you know designed for Unity or something like that, um, that's going to look different conceivably in Arnold, and you might need to like fiddle with the level or something like that. So without further ado, let's actually hook this stuff up. Um, so just going through these, I'm fairly certain that this whatever this abbreviation is is metal. This is ambient occlusion. Um, this, I think, is base color, which is a weird abbreviation for that. Um, normal maps, if you can't tell by the abbreviation, you can certainly tell by the weird blue color. And I think this is roughness. Um, so this is also based on my knowledge of, like, I've uploaded a lot of stuff to Sketchfab, and I, this is um, oftentimes, you know, common maps that we use there. So anyway, uh, let's... I'm going to do color last, actually. So we have that metal, what I think is metal. Um, and if you look at it, that kind of does make sense, right? So you have, like, black conceivably for most of the paper towel, and then you have that little, like, white square, which I assume is this metal area here. So I'm just going to go ahead and see what happens if I hook that up. God knows where I put this. Um, blah, somewhere in my hellish downloads folder, which is just, like, full of random student assignments I've downloaded. Oh, God. Um, good lord. Um... I should maybe have put this somewhere. Wait, this is a, wait. Uh, sorry. Do to do, do date modify. Actually, you know what? Let's just do name. I know what this is alphabetically for goodness sake. Um, paper towel, paper towel, paper towel. Why am I so bad at the alphabet? Half the video is just me being like, I cannot alphabetically order. This is indeed in downloads paper towel. Have unzipped it. Where are you putting this? Aha! I found the things. Should not have taken so long. Alright, I'm just gonna grab that and copy that. Alright, so I said I'm starting with metal. So let's go ahead and see. Yeah, look, it's made a uh, swatches folder. Um, so let's just go ahead and sort of see what that gets us. Go ahead and uh, just center that on the paper towel roll. And clearly that looks insane. Um, so this is probably one of those instances where I need to go in and tick uh, the alpha is luminance. And once I my cat is rampaging. And once I did that, you can see we have a metal uh, and a paper towel. So if uh, also a lot of times, like uh, you may need to check this if your texture doesn't show up. You may not. Um, substance is a whole thing on like how to figure out like what you actually need for that. So anywho, uh, let us go ahead and just keep mapping them textures in. Um, <laughs> the super delightful fun times thing. All right. So I think this is another one for roughness. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that, do another file texture, come up, and... Oh, thank god. Um, I don't need to go through the whole rigmarole again. <laughs> that was terrible. Um, Alright, so let's see what that gets us. Cool. So that seems to have like broken the metal, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that I probably need alpha those luminance again. Which does seem to be the case. Didn't do a whole lot for the roughness, I guess it just made that like a little bit less uh, shiny. Um, Alright, so we have ambient occlusion, which honestly, 
I'm probably not even really going to put this one in. So this is going to be if you're like texture baking something uh, and you, you want to map everything out maybe to like a diffuse um, and not have a whole lot of lighting being calculated. But since you're rendering in Arnold, um, that's you probably wouldn't want or need to use this. So I'm going to actually straight up ignore this for now. Um, which leaves us with the normal map and the color. So I'll put the normal map in first. Um, I feel like once you get color in it, it's a little harder to see uh, what's actually happening. So um, totally going to put this in the wrong space, I feel like. Um, all right, so first of all, when you're doing this, um, this is a normal map. So you need to set this to tangent space normals. And then go ahead and map your stuff as usual. And you can see if you notice it actually had the um, the alpha's luminous ticks by default. A, hey, we have a normal map. Um, texture scaling on that's a wee bit weird, but that's okay. Um, all right, cool. So yeah, and then last one is pretty much color. Um, so I mean, you can also do a bunch of different things, right? So like, if you were to plug, but you could like plug things into different places. I've been known to do that before. Um, not so much with like a paper towel. This one's like fairly straightforward, I think. But, um, you know, if you're if you're looking for something where like, oh, I don't really like how this roughness showed up on this rock or something like that, uh, you can go through and maybe look at, oh, like what happens if I plug it into this other thing and now we have color. Uh, what happens, you know, if I use this for something else? Uh, you can just sort of see, again, like what, what happens there. Um, it's not, again, I mean, in this case, it was pretty straightforward, and you, it is kind of important where you have, like, this is metal, you don't want metal paper towels, um, so, like, the metal shouldn't be mapped into where it should be, but, like, stuff like roughness you can kind of play with sometimes, depending on the textures, and throw it in different places. Um, it's actually interesting to me that this doesn't have, uh, what are these? What is that? kind of questionable on the top. Um, but, anywho, yeah, so, hopefully that was helpful. Um, yeah, it is sort of trial and error, and then the other the other thing that I can say is I once you've done this enough, like, you'll get better at it. Um, just sort of recognizing, like, oh, this is this map and this is this. Um, but also, like, usually, oftentimes there's resources, um, maybe not so much for Sketchfab, uh, but definitely for stuff like Substance Painter. Um, they have very specific resources on, like, how you need to export your stuff and how you need to import your stuff. Um, and you can always reach out depending on, uh, you know, maybe if it was a free file, they might not respond as much, but if it was a paid file, um, people should definitely be able to help you or at least tell you, like, what they designed stuff in, theoretically, um, so that it would give you maybe a better idea of what settings you would need to look into in order to actually get stuff into Arnold correctly. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that helps.